Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Dave's Desk, uh, looking at Bible basics. Uh, today we're looking at the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Deuteronomy literally means, and it's a very exciting title, repeat of the law. Um, so if you remember Genesis, God uh, births his people. Exodus, he saves them from slavery and frees them to worship. Leviticus, he teaches them how to worship. In Numbers, he leads them up to the border of the promised land, but they forsake him. And so he leads them round and round in circles in the desert. Uh, and then at the end of the book of Numbers, they're back on the, the border of, uh, of the promised land, ready to go in. And so in the book of Deuteronomy, they enter that. No, no, they don't. In the book of Deuteronomy, the story takes one almighty pause. And we're hanging through the entire book in this moment on the edge of the promised land. As Moses, who is extremely old and coming to the end of his life, passes his authority onto Joshua and gives the people um, a reminder of their role and their position before God. You know, he speaks to them in, in language that seems uh, extemporaneous, as in a speech made up on the spot. It's not beautifully crafted. It's full of passion and vigor, uh, beseeching the people to remember who they are. It follows the pattern of something, I'm gonna read it because I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I think it's a Caesarean vassal treaty. Um, and it's, it's a treaty between a, an, like a king or an emperor and a vassal state, a, a servant people. And it's full of, if you do this thing, then I will bless you. But if you refuse to do this thing, then bad things will happen to you. And so the book of Deuteronomy is full of blessings and curses, uh, beseeching people uh, to follow the rule and the law that comes from God. Uh, and Moses speaks about it in the sense of, you know, remember where you were subject as slaves, subjected as slaves in Egypt. Remember that it's God who brought you back. It's God who led you through the wilderness. It's God that preserved you. You know, remember how much you owe to the Father. And Israel is this stateless, landless people. They've been wandering since God first called Abraham out of his home. Uh, they've been wandering, never had a place to call their own, and they're about to enter this land, about to enter God's rest. And Moses is saying, but you need to remember God's law. If you want to enter his rest, if you truly want to find a home and a place to be at peace, you must remember how God is calling you to live. You must remember to worship him and not the other gods around here. Because if you don't listen to him, you won't find uh, that place of rest. And so the book leaves us with this, this hanging question of will God's people follow his rule, follow his law, worship him and him alone, and so find rest in him? Or will they once again turn away and find nothing uh, but battle and disharmony and struggle? And I think that's a question we all have to keep on answering. Do we want to focus our hearts and our minds on God and his will for us and so find rest? Or will we try and make it our own way, put our worth in other things? And do you trust that that will live to the disharmony, lead to disharmony, as Moses says here in Deuteronomy? I hope that's given you something to think about. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.